This is Hannibal from the Hannibal TV. Dot com and I'm going to share with you some impact wrestling news courtesy of the Wrestling Observer. They just had their Slammiversary pay-per-view and apparently the main event was an intergender match between Sammy Callahan and Tessa Blanchard. They wanted to get a buzz going by making this the main event an intergender match and intergender matches definitely have their popularity these days on the internet. The show drew 850 fans and apparently the early estimates of the pay-per-view buy is 1,500. So I guess somewhere over 2,000 fans total caught the pay-per-view. Sammy Callahan has done several interviews with this channel and we actually have a match of him versus Ricochet on this channel that's worth looking up. Uh, he's a talented performer. So is Tessa Blanchard, even though she has been a heel to me in real life too. She was supposed to wrestle for Great North Wrestling a few years ago, but her connection flight was delayed and she couldn't make the event, unfortunately, which is not her fault. Uh, we put on a great show there. And I think literally only one or two people ask for refunds. It's still bad when fans or when wrestlers don't make the show. But it was not her fault. It was a connection flight. But where she healed me was at the PCW Ultra show I attended and got interviews with tons of people last December. When I asked her for an interview, she said she'd be back. And then she literally bolted out the door Um a few minutes later, not bolting for me, but she was leaving anyways, but she could have just told me I don't want to do the interview. And I asked her again for an interview at Mark out at the Meadowlands and she turned me down again. So she is a heel in real life to me, but I still feel she's talented and I actually don't hold that against her at all. I just thought it was funny. I guess the biggest news coming out of the Impact pay-per-view is John Morrison is apparently done his contract with the company. That match was past his contract. It was a special agreement. Apparently the last word that Dave Meltzer has heard is that he was leaning in neither the direction of WWE or AEW. So it's not known where he's going to go. He does care a lot about his acting career. And apparently LAX, the company's top tag team in Impact Wrestling, are also expected to be leaving and have significant offers from both WWE and AEW, but they haven't made their decision yet. Apparently, if they do go to WWE, they'd be starting in September, some people are saying. And of course, Pentagon Jr. and Phoenix have also recently left Impact Wrestling. They had a television taping today at uh, the Don Koloff Arena, which is basically Santino's Wrestling School in Mississauga, Ontario, which is actually less than four hours from where I live. But Scott Damore and Don Callis for whatever reason, don't want to use me in Impact Wrestling. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at the Hannibal TV for instant updates.